Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Friday. Did I? Did you hear me say that? It's Friday, July nineteenth. I can't believe we made it to Friday. So this is something to celebrate. This is a success that we've made it through this week thus far, <laughs> with everything going on. Um, keep your head above water. Keep swimming. Um, there is going to be a break after this weekend. We have the Capricorn second Capricorn full moon happening on Sunday. <clears throat> excuse me, Sunday. And there's a lots of other events that are happening this weekend. Well, on Sunday, leading up to Sunday. I mean, the energy is just still very potent all the way to Sunday. And even Monday, we might feel a little bit of it, but it's going to be like a little bit of a relief. I mean, this full moon is a releasing full moon. It is a releasing time, releasing anything that you're holding on to. This is the weekend to let it go. Let it go and let the flow come into your life. All right. So let's go ahead and get three cards here. One card's already fallen out, and it's the Wheel of Fortune. As I was talking, and that's just it. There is a cycle occurring and ending right now, um, and it's important that we honor the cycles of our life. We honor the cycles of the moon, and we these cycles are here to show us how to grow, how to, um, they, they, they give us new ways to look at things, um, new perspectives, and we the, the cool thing about a cycle is we always have a second chance. There's always another time around where we can improve the situation or even ourselves. So this is one of those cycle ending moments where we can take what we've learned and let it go. And don't look back, but look forward to what's coming. All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. The second card here is the Knight of Swords. And I just kind of feel like this is a very powerful knight, right? I'm sorry, not knight. It's a king. It's a king of swords. This is a very powerful king. And he's even got Saturn here in the background. And Saturn's very part of this transition with it being the full moon being in Capricorn. Saturn rules Capricorn. And right now Saturn is in Pisces. And it's important that we, it's important that Saturn learns to go with the flow being in Pisces. So it's, we're letting go. We're allowing anything that came up this week. We're we're learning from it, and we're we're learning about ourselves and how we manage these type of situations. All right. And then the two of wands. Yes, the path is opening up very clear for us after this weekend, after this full moon happens. This cycle is opening us up to a new adventure a, a new version of ourself a new beginning that we've never seen before so it's very awkward it's very um I, I, I kind of i don't want to say scary but it's it's unknown and sometimes the unknown can be very scary or it could be very exciting and that's where i'm kind of want to say look forward not backwards look forward to what's still to come and get excited about it because you have to trust with this king of swords that you've learned enough by now that you've gone through the worst and the best is yet to come that's how i feel about this friday and plus i'm so excited that it's friday um and i hope you are too and i hope you have a really great day and um we'll talk to you tomorrow take care bye